Hey, Rajan, just wondered what stood out to you about the, the way that you've been able to lead the second unit and then also uh, lead the, the play when LeBron's on the court with you um, in the playoffs compared to the regular season. What, what differences have you noticed and how that's been impacting the, the game and the team? Um, me personally, I was just trying to take care of the ball. I had a second unit leader on the floor, uh, extension of coach out there and give my guys shots where they need the ball and being efficient you know, on both ends of the floor. Hey, Rajan, it's Bill Oram. Uh, it's been a decade for you since you've been in the finals. And I'm wondering what maybe you appreciate, uh, what you maybe appreciate about reaching this, this level uh, with your team that maybe you didn't when you were a younger guy. Uh, well, when I was a lot younger, I had a lot of success. You know, I won at 21 years old and now being 34, uh, it's a completely different experience and understanding that this doesn't come often or, you know, annually. So for me to be back here you know, over a decade later, it's very, a uh, very humbling experience, and I'm letting my young guys know from uh, all the rookies to the second, third year players at Coos that uh, this opportunity has come often. And, and guys search for this moment their entire career, and we definitely have to seize the moment. Allison? David Benjamin? Hey, Rashawn. It seems like this stretch um, through the last two rounds of the playoffs has been your best individual stretch since coming to the Lakers, and obviously the team has echoed that. Uh, why do you think it, it, it's coming now? Uh, you know, obviously you played two years with the team. Um, what about this moment is allowing you to mesh so well with the, the team on the court? Each series is different. You know, obviously the regular season playoffs are two different, you know, two different type of games. Uh, each, each level, you have to raise your level of play. But for me, um, didn't know what to expect. Obviously coming back, having played ball in seven months, six, seven months, a couple of injuries as when I did come back. So I didn't know what to expect as far as my output and what I would do as far as producing on the court, but um, I've had a lot of belief in my work and, and what my craft and what I've put in the last couple of months. Um, Coach, Coach Bogles is still a lot of confidence in me coming back, you know, obviously saying that, that I was a very, I played a very important role in this, this team, uh, along with Rob Plink as well. So uh, those guys from up top believing in from day one and uh, just not want to let my teammates down. Not want to let myself down. I'm a very competitive person and uh, feeling that I do uh, have an impact on this team, helping this team win. Uh, Marjan, uh, this this experience of living with your teammates, um, having these dinners, I guess every night, living on the same floor, how does that how does that um, challenge you, and how has that sort of made this run so unique compared to other runs you've been on in the playoffs before? It's very unique because, you know, even, even more so now, you spend more, a lot more time with teammates and even your family. Uh, obviously, in the past, you do the same a little bit, but you get a perspective for going home as well. So being with guys every day, eating, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, has been fun. You know, obviously, we, we had a break as well, a couple of months off due to COVID, but we got back in the bubble. Uh, me, unfortunately, I, I kind of went home three days afterwards. So me coming back into the bubble made me more appreciate the time me and my teammates understand that the camaraderie is big uh, in this type of game that we play. So develop the chemistry uh, early on. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of became natural. You know, guys aren't forced to you know, be around each other. We just kind of naturally gravitate toward each other. We um, have started a matting uh, football challenge group, group game. And uh, everything we do is pretty much have been together. You know, like I said, there's different age groups and, and where our team stands. But for the most part, we all um, have pretty much the same common goals. Uh, we're here for one reason, and then off the court, like I said, what better way to bond is over food and, and watching games. All right, Gary. John, uh, obviously Lakers' first appearance in the finals in 10 years. You played in that series. What are your reflections on that series? Do, do you Did you kind of have bad memories when everybody was talking about the first time back in 10 years and you're thinking – you were part, you were on the other side of that. What's your reflections from that 2010 series? I think I blurred a lot of it out. Um, it, it was ugly when we were up 3 2, and obviously we didn't get the job done. We were up in the fourth quarter. That stands out to me as well. But, you know, Kobe played well. Uh, you know, he didn't have a great offensive scoring night, but he, he did a lot of intangibles. He had 18 uh, rebounds. Uh, Paul Gasol played well. Bynum played well. Key role players hit big shots. Fisher run our test. So it was a collective team effort, but, um, you know, those, that's a long, long time ago. And I was looking forward to obviously uh, changing the chapter and, and we'll continue to go 
go past this different chapter in my life and, and write a better story in it. All right, Bill, I think you have a couple more on your end. Yes, I do have a couple more. Let's go with Tanya Ganguly. Hey, Rajan. Um, I was wondering how, what the challenge has been like over the last few months for you and keeping in touch with people back in Louisville um, and kind of staying connected with uh, everything that's been going on with the Breonna Taylor case. Um, well, I don't want to say too much earlier. So many different speculations are coming out on different stories of what had happened. I speak closely every day. Um, the lady used to run foundation, Yvette Gentry, she's now the police chief. And, um, you know, we talk, like I said, about life in general, you know, how the, the climate is in Louisville, uh, not necessarily about her job and her role. It's just, you know, the young men in our community, we've tried to do that the last four or five years uh, through my foundation is giving back to the youth, giving them someone to hold them accountable, uh, someone that shows them that they care and um, just making a change with our youth. Obviously, we know how important it is this year as far as voting and getting the message out there to the people in my community that their vote does matter and that how we can make a difference and make a change in my city. So, you know, for me, uh, it was tough to actually come to the bubble, knowing so much is going on where I'm from and me feeling like I have one of the biggest impacts on my city. Uh, I take a lot of pride in trying to figure out how we can make change or how I can make change and understanding what I have to do. As far as you know, you go from protesting, but out of the protest, you have to get to the board. You have to get to the boardrooms and make change and understanding who we need to vote for and who we can support as a community. All right, we're going to take one more. Alan Sliwa. Hey, Rajan, just to get your thoughts on the matchup first, Mike. What are some of the challenges that you know you're expecting in this uh, matchup against the Heat? And then also, how much is Game One? Um, just a feeling out process. And uh, is that just based on your experience where so many adjustments come from there? Um, well, adjustments are made right now. Um, you know, obviously, going from a Denver Nuggets team uh, who plays a little bit different than Miami, obviously. But uh, I think each team that we play in this playoffs has compared us to this point. And the Heat definitely would impose a great challenge. Uh, the world coach played one of my favorite teammates, Jimmy Butler, going against him would be fun. And, a lot of respect for all those other guys. You know, Bam, Hero, Dragic is a, playing at a high level, all star level guard. So, um, you know, it's going to be a great matchup. I'm looking forward to, to the changes and adjustments we need to make throughout each game and uh, going head to head with these guys for, for one conference.